All right, guys, try and find me. But how am I getting this such good audio from the middle of the bush when my camera's over on the driveway? That's because I'm using an external recorder. I'm all the way over here and you're all the way over there and I'm still getting fantastic audio. Like, yeah, you can just use your phone, but what if you want to mic up someone else? Don't really want to give them your phone, especially if you don't know them. And now I can be in like a criminal movie because I have a wire on me. I'm, 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 all, I'm not a cop. You can even satisfy your dreams of becoming a sound guy because it has a headphone jack and a mic port and you can monitor the audio at the same time. But what if you want to do a Danny Gewurz and sit in a mildly interesting location while talking into an external recorder? Do that too, it's got an internal mic, so. There you go. But what about if the thing's rattling around in your pocket? What are you gonna do then if you're gonna accidentally press buttons and stuff? It's got a little thing on the side. It says hold. You just click it over to that, and then you can't press any of the buttons. So now we have the recorder set to auto. Let's find out if it peaks or not. Ah! So yeah, the auto setting sucks. Set it to low. There's a little USB stick on the end of it. Bada bing, bada boom. Like, share, subscribe.